We'll start with the Mustard R30, size 14. This is the water bug. We've got Shear 14 aught brown. I just attach that there. And we've got a wee waist back, remove that, then we go forward again. Right to there. And what we want is a little bunch of pheasant tail. There's about 10 or 12 fibres and we want to level the tips up. These should be about one centimetre in front of the hook eye. And we just tie those in and go forward like so and then we can go back keeping all the fibres bunched together. This is going to be the shell back afterwards. We go to there, then we want to build up a little taper on the body, like so. That'll do us there. Come a little bit further forward, and we can go back to there. I've got two brown and one black moose hair, moose mane hairs. And we just attach those and then we go back remember to keep your tying thread with the flat profile and go right back into the pheasant tail and then we can go forward again over the whole body This is an excellent little bug, you can fish it wet or dry. And we go back to the front to there and we'll take our three moose main hairs and we'll wrap these up. Get them gathered. to the front and we turn that around and we'll lock them off. You can use, you don't have to use uh, moose mane here, you can use pheasant tail and make it a full pheasant tail water bug. And go up to that. The black hairs are always tougher than the lighter ones for some reason and then we can go back just a few turns into the body like that and I want to split the pheasant tail turn it that way so you can see it better so approximately half and half push it back like that hold it in position we'll start at the hook eye Make two or three turns and then we can separate it out. Go back. Just separate that so I get approximately seven and eight on each side. do is perfect then we take the shell back we want to get these straight so I'll put a comb through them yeah. and we 
Tech. A wrap of tying thread to lock them in position. That's good. And then we can secure them, lift them up with finisher. Remove that. The rest of your scissors on the hook eye. We want a little head like that. And turn it around. And just pull the legs out. That's looking good. And then we just give the shell back a coat with UV resin I like to make sure that it penetrates the pheasant tail fibres, put it back right on the ends, that's looking good, and then turn it upside down and give it a blast. And that's the finished pheasant tail water bug. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.